Hey guys, how's it going? So it's been a little bit since I made a video. Um, I basically left my tripod at my tattoo shop, Inksmith, where um, I filmed my me getting a tattoo video. And so I haven't had my tripod, so I've been kind of like super reluctant to film videos and I keep meaning to go like pick it up, but it's just annoying because I have to like bus everywhere, I don't have a car, and it just hasn't worked out for like my mom or dad to drive me to go get it. So yeah, that's low-key a thing, and I don't typically like to vlog unless I'm doing like an intro to like something else, like, hey, this is what I'm doing, boom, here's the rest of the video. I used to do vlogs a lot and everything, so I figure whatever, we'll try to do them and stuff. They're kind of more personal in a way, I guess, and you can just kind of see me awkwardly ramble and be myself and just awkwardly stare at the window. I I don't know, just thoughts. I did kind of have like a few things that I just wanted to talk about randomly, kind of whatever. Um, so first of all, uh, my hair is kind of silver gray-ish. Um, I've been basically trying to fade out the uh, purple that I have and I've been doing that by washing my hair a lot with really hot water and like head and shoulder shampoo and like shampooing my hair like multiple times over and over again in the shower like every time I shower I'm like shampooing like six times in a row I'm just like lathering it really well rinsing it out and lathering it again rinsing it out and yeah and I've also been using like a combination of purple shampoo and blue shampoo mixed together. I've been using Arctic Fox Transylvania diluted into conditioner and my shampoos to kind of um to kind of in a way like since my hair is purple and like when it's fading um kind of mixing the blue of like diluted Transylvania with my fading purple hair makes it this like silvery tone. I don't know if that makes sense so that's kind of how I've done that. I feel on top of all that I also did get another new product thing which I think is called like Fancyful or something I don't even remember it's like this temporary hair dye stuff and it's called like silver lining is the shade I'll put like a picture in of it here too um so I tried that last night for the first time basically you have your shower like normal shampoo condition get out I kind of towel dry your hair afterwards so that it's like not dripping wet anymore but it's still like very wet slash damp and then you just pour this stuff in your hands and like put it all over your hair like saturate it really really well and then you just blow dry your hair like so that the product is blow dried in so at first I was like what the hell this stuff's gonna make my hair feel like crunchy and weird like it seemed weird to put like essentially a hair dye in and just not rinse it out and just like blow dry it in but it totally I washed my hair last night and it's very soft and everything I did just put my normal products in like my uh, macadamia oil and whatever I have like leave-in sprays and stuff too so yeah that was kind of cool I've always wanted to try that but I didn't really think it would work so yeah um, I think it probably would work better on like blonde hair opposed to like how I have faded purple hair but yeah if you want silver hair and you have blonde hair I would highly suggest doing that and then I guess it just kind of washes out the next time you shower but you can just put it in again I suppose and I'm sure like in a way it would kind of dye your hair and like tone it or something I, I don't really know if that makes sense so yeah um, another thing on the topic of hair stuff, um, I ordered uh, hair extensions from Mini House 8888, which is a website that I get all of my hair extensions from, and I've been buying from there for years, and I normally buy like the economical hair extensions, which is like their cheapest ones, and like they're they're like good, but they tend to only last like a month before they're very like matted and like dry and just disgusting and you need to buy a new pair but the last set of extensions I bought from there were the luxury royal ones and I like love them so much they lasted so long uh, this is the set that I have in now and I've had them for like seven months and they're still nice and everything um, but they just I find hair extensions I don't know if it's just me I think it's a thing but over time from just like using heat on them from brushing them washing them just all the stuff that you do they kind of like get shorter because the ends kind of get dry and like break off so these used to be like really long like down to here but they've just kind of gotten a bit shorter so I ordered a new 30 inch set of the luxury royals which again are like more expensive but they last so much longer and it's actually cheaper in the long run to do that they were only like 200 and something dollars like 230 or something I believe but it's still better opposed to the other ones which come to like around 80 to 100 dollars but you have to replace them every month so whatever um, but I've been so excited to get them in the mail because I just want to have really long hair again because super long hair makes me feel like super awesome and I also just want to be able to like tone them nicely because these ones like 
I'm trying to get them to silver, but the purple that was in them is just holding on, and there's like some blue in them too. So I just want a fresh like blonde set to like tone them to like a proper silver color and everything, and have them match my hair a little bit better because I don't know if you can tell, but like my hair extensions are really purple, and then my hair is like a different color. I don't know, but. Uh, but the annoying thing is that like they should have been here like last Monday like a long time ago but they were like held in customs for literally like 10 days and like the shipping should have only taken like three business days but now it's been like two-ish weeks or something like that almost like with the weekends and everything so yeah and they finally got released from customs they supposedly were supposed to be delivered today but my tracking hasn't updated that they're out for delivery or anything and I have to work soon I'm like shit so they're probably gonna come tomorrow which kind of makes me upset because I just want to have them but yeah so that's all my hair stuff kind of new hair color fading it and stuff and getting new extensions I'm really excited um but the other thing that's super exciting and it's another thing that I'm like waiting on because I ordered it online um I did my first ever Killstar order which like it's really exciting because I always see like a bunch of Instagram people that I follow wearing Killstar stuff and I've always looked at their website and been like, damn, I really want to get something but I can't afford it. Like, I mean, I can afford it but I've just always thought like, eh, it's like not worth it. Like, I'd rather buy something else or like, I just hadn't gotten around to doing it. And then they ended up like having a sale like last week when I ordered where all the clearance was like buy one, get one 50% off and the stuff that I was already looking at like I always like just put things in my cart just to like see how much it would be and a lot of it was the clear out stuff so like I checked my cart again and like the price went down like significantly because there was a bunch of stuff half off and then they also had like a free shipping thing if you spend over a certain amount which I did and then I used like a code for ten dollars off so like I got like a lot of deals so I ended up spending like three hundred dollars but I did get like seven items or something and I think that they're coming tomorrow too which like, I think that my hair extensions and my Killstar order are coming tomorrow, so I'm just like, frick, I'm so excited. I love getting things in the mail so, so, so much. You know, that's, like, what's new and exciting in my life. I can't wait to get that stuff and, like, take sick photos and everything. Um, I don't know, I just want to be, like, an edgy goth girl, and I can't wait for summer to, like, wear awesome outfits and, like, have my boyfriend take pictures of me and, like... I really want to, like, model or something, but I'm, like, super awkward and, like, I don't think I could do it because, like, it would just... I just feel uncomfortable or something I don't freaking know but yeah I've also literally just been standing in like the exact same spot just like pivoting on my feet this whole time and my arms getting extremely tired um yeah and I do have to work in a bit so probably just gonna go edit this upload it and get ready to go to work I wait to show you guys my outfit stuff so I'm gonna definitely do like a haul slash unboxing thing tomorrow I should really go get my tripod so I can do it properly yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel and sticking around to the end of the video and all that good stuff. I'll talk to you again later. Bye, guys.